Welcome everyone, Storm Roller Gaming here. We are coming to you today with a new treat. Getsu Fuminen Undying Moon. Oh, this is a, uh, from what I understand, it's a remake of the original uh, Getsu Fuminen from way back when. Um, it is supposedly the original roguelike game. Um, we are continuing here. It, I played it for just a couple minutes to do some uh, audio setup, just make sure all my levels were good. Um, so yeah, this is a it's gonna be a let's play. We're gonna experience this one together, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, we're gonna do it together. Let's get it. These big bastards here. Oh! Don't hit me like that. Don't do that. I don't like it. Gotta make sure I'm not in the air when I start attacking them. So this is somewhat of a permadeath game of sorts. I will take you. Kind of like that game, um, Hades. I don't know if y'all ever played it. Um, I didn't play it. I had a friend that played it, and he, he thoroughly enjoyed it. I was going to see something real quick. Or uh, it was just a second ago. I wonder if that potion's still laying there. It is. Heck yeah. Yeah, you've got two healing potions, and they only heal you for half of your current health and if you die you start all the way back from the beginning but you get to keep some of your progress like if you unlock a new portal to another world you get to keep that and then you have like let's see let's see if I can see it here so you've got these different like plus 20 attack um, you can get for these weapon types now if you unlock one of those that is like uh, quality enhancement perk. You get to keep those if you die. But as far as like where you were, like you die, you start back from the beginning. A lot of freaking enemies in here, man. your bow or your coonies. Absolutely freaking slay it! Guess you can call me a super slaying. <laughs> and you got these little fast travel points that you can go back to little certain parts of the map, as you can see. Uh, let me see here. We drop down there. We're gonna drop right on top of a enemy. Let's see if we can go around the back way. I'm not sure what type of enemy you are. Okay, so I guess the purple ones are regular enemies, I assume. Not those glowing guys. 
Okay. And then the exclamation points are those big uh, chalice thingies. Not chalice thingies, uh, headstone looking things. I haven't fallen into one of the spike pits yet, but I assume it's a one-hit kill. Insta death. Because why would you son of a why wouldn't it be? This should be the weapon shop. Yep. What you got for me, baby? Holy smokes. That spear. Might try the spear out. All right, we got that. Wonder. It's not that much better. It's not worth it to me. Did I buy it anyway? Son of a biscuit eater. Ugh. I feel like I should have bought that. That's some pretty stout shit right there. Oh well, we got our sword. Let's see what kind of movesets we got on this thing. Hmm. It's got some range. That's kind of nice. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, then. Okay. Okay. We'll try you out. We'll try you out, big dog. Save that for other situations. Fast travel. Not gonna go in there yet. Food for the super slaying. Treasure works too. Fan blades. We like Princess Katana. Try it out. Replace the spear. Ooh, we got a suspend to win. Clinging diagram, creating call drops required to unlock the sub one. Find that. Okay. Another fast travel. Here. All right, come on now. And it seems like the every time you die, it seems like the level design changes. It'll be like you know the same area, but it seems like the level design changes. I'm gonna go to here real quick. Some stuff we didn't. A chest or something we didn't get right here. Yeah. Another umbrella. Yeah. 
That'll do, pig. That'll do. All right. Yeah, looks like we explored all of that. How did I get down over there? Uh, I guess it was the, uh, the merchant's place. <laughs> All right. Y'all just, y'all know this is going to be a boss fight, right? All right. Let's see here. Hellfire hanging all around. Uh huh. What I tell y'all? I don't know what that says. I guess that's his name. What are you so so quickie? No, 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 no. Ooh, I like those bombs. Old musket does pretty good. Time to unload, unload on him. Don't you yell at me. Oh, big one. Little scullies. Run! Run again! Run for a third time! Oh yeah, baby. Give me the gold! Material pouch, blood soaked horn, beast claw, ghoulish bones. Holy dragon bones, ghoul blood, and a ghoul shit. want this freaking thing I don't know why it just looks cool it's black a black katana I mean you can't get wrong with that keen katana princess katana good lord I've got four demons fangs I need 15 what in the world how expensive is this schnit what do we got though Wow. Okay. Pipe of thunder and flame. Okay, well it's obvious that we're broke. We got 14 of these little green things so i guess you can you can get a a permanent health upgrade moves counter 
break, stealth, stomp. Fuma. Moves. Wonder what moves does. Like your movement speed. I probably should have started this from the very beginning when they gave us the, uh, you know, little tutorial. Medica Necronomica. Book on otherworldly medicines. Like the magic. Increased healing potions. Nice. Okay. Okay, I guess this is where you, you would unlock those skills and you can activate them, I suppose. We got a Hellfire Cliff or the Great Wave of Damnation. The Getsu Clan Estate, that is where we started. I think we'll go to Hellfire Cliff. So that's the first one. I found this key for this place and opened it up. There's some, you know, some stuff there. We'll go to Hellfire Cliff, see what we can do. Need to cue Jonathan Young's version of Hellfire from Hunchback of Notre Dame. Hellfire! Dark fire! What the heck are you? Back off of me. Come here. Do it again. Some very Japanese looking monsters. What are those guys in the background sawing on? Oh! Two giant dudes sawing on a human. Well, that's cool. Kicking ass and taking names, baby. Ooh, we got us got us a rune stone. Dude, is clan leader. My appointed task. Stop troubling me, woman. Nay, puppet. I brought this beautiful contraption back from Hell's pleasure quarters. She may not make for a Cortesian, but she may be of use as a swordsman. A material pouch. And some healing potions. Well, I can... Use a potion? Grab a potion. Heck yeah! You! Oh no. Uh-uh. Oh, you're making me mad. Damn. Now I shouldn't have used that freaking potion. I should have known something like that was going to happen. So we got the little ones, then we got the big pop ones that can... They've got some serious range they can hit you with. I could really go for an upgraded weapon. Yeah. 
damn it, boy. We're getting worked on. Let's try out these fan blades for a minute. Some of you may die. That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. I don't know if that was good or not. For being honest. I mean, it's not terrible. I don't know that I would go and fight a boss with it, but... Venture back over here. Oh. Damn it. All right. It seems like we've got some, uh, some pretty good stagger potential with these fan blades. At least with that dude. Not with all of them, really, I suppose. Hmm. Interesting. No! Ugh. Well, we had a good run, I suppose. weapons. Yeah. <laughs> we died. I talked to Froken. <laughs> Take my damn busted up all basic ass account katana. How does your body fare? Kind of beaten up, fish. And gauntlets. Wonderful. Uh, I wonder if we got to keep any. Of it. No, we didn't. Holy crap! How am I supposed to get sixty of those? We've got three. I had 14. What the heck, man? So. Three demon's fangs. I guess, did we keep those, I suppose? I guess. I guess we kept our materials, maybe. Well, shit. Damn permadeath games. Wildness. Alrighty. Unavailable. Slap you around a minute. I wonder if it's instant death if we drop from here. Oh, it won't let us. Okay. More gold. I'm not sure what those little skeleton dudes are for. Okay, we got us some gold weapons. 
Alright, we can do some punchy punchy saki saki. We got us a brand new set of brass knuckles. Damn, the stagger potential is real on those things. Okay. Ow. Ow. What the? Not on this guy. That guy. Damn. That guy wasn't having any of that, that brass knuckle shit. Okay. I just got my ass handed to me for a minute there. Fan blades. Oh, and I don't want you to use fan blades. Ugh. We are not doing so hot this time around, folks. Yeah, it would cheese you. That's what I'm talking about. The cheese is real. I'm tired of you throwing lava rocks at me. Get you and your damn lava rocks on out of here. Oh, and there we go. <laughs> Seems like the enemies were a little more difficult that time around. I just might have been sucking. I was probably sucking. Oh, well. I will know for next time. Ah. That is where we're going to cut it today, folks. Uh, it's our introduction to Getsufuminen, Undying Moon. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next episode.